Welcome to the Craft Therapy Podcast, your best source for all the fun and facts about the magic mushroom experience. In this episode, we will dive into everything you need to know about psychedelic mushrooms for beginners. This ultimate guide to psychedelic mushrooms for beginners is intended for educational purposes only. We are not taking any stances, diagnosing, or treating anyone. We are here to remind all that even though there are many studies regarding the potential therapeutic uses of psilocybin in inducing mystical type experiences, it's essential to consult with your healthcare provider before diagnosing, stopping your medications, or treating any health conditions with psilocybin. Always adhere to local laws when considering the use of psychedelic substances. To learn more about magic mushrooms, subscribe to our newsletter on our site, theshroomgroove.com. You may have questions about how you can consume magic mushrooms, what is important to consider for your first macrodose, and so on. This guide aims to provide you with a solid and scientific-based information to understand, respect, and safely navigate the world of psychedelic mushrooms. So, let's find your groove. First of all, what are psychedelic mushrooms anyway? Psychedelic mushrooms, also known as magic mushrooms, are a group of fungi that contain psychoactive substances like psilocybin and psilocin. Once ingested, psilocybin is converted in the body to psilocin, which is the primary active compound that affects the brain. Psilocin directly affects serotonin receptors in the brain, leading to altered states of consciousness, such as altered perception of time and space, visual and auditory hallucinations, and profound changes in emotions and thought patterns. Where did magic mushrooms come from? The tale of psychedelic mushrooms is as captivating as the journey they induce. From the indigenous tribes of Siberia to the ancient civilizations of Central America, these fungi have been used for centuries to transcend the ordinary and connect with the divine. But how did they make their way into Western culture? In 1955, R. Gordon Wasson and his wife Valeria participated in an indigenous mushroom ceremony in Mexico, which led to the popularization of the term magic mushrooms after their experience was published in Life magazine in 1957. How do you actually take psychedelic mushrooms? In this guide to psychedelic mushrooms for beginners, you'll learn that they can be consumed in various ways, depending on personal preference and the desired intensity of the experience. Here are some common methods. You can eat them raw or dehydrated. This is the most straightforward method to consume mushrooms. However, some find the taste unpleasant, and some say it may upset their stomach at times if a large dose is consumed raw. This is because they can be, uh, not so tasty. So if consuming them dehydrated, try to drink a lot of water afterward. Brewing the mushrooms into a tea can make them easier to ingest and can help reduce nausea that some people experience. Add some honey and some citrus to enhance the effects. For those who want to avoid the taste altogether, psilocybin mushrooms can be ground into a powder and encapsulated. Some people who microdose put the powder from a capsule inside a smoothie or coffee. Another form of consuming psilocybin is soaking the mushrooms in lemon or lime juice before consumption, which is believed to convert psilocybin into psilocin, potentially enhancing its effects. Psilocybin mushrooms can also be incorporated into food items like chocolates, gummies, or cookies to mask the taste. We don't recommend heating the mushrooms for too long as it may break down some of the psilocybin. Regardless of the method, it's crucial to start with a low dose and clearly understand the potency of the mushrooms to ensure a safe and enjoyable experience. Whether you're hitting the trails, setting up camp, or just enjoying a sunny backyard, our Shroom Groove Monthly Craft Box is your perfect companion for added fun and relaxation. Our craft box was made for you to get the best products monthly and also to enjoy your experience within our community. Check out our Shroom Groove monthly craft box for the best groove experience at theshroomgroove.com. Okay, now you're probably wondering, how would you feel or should feel by taking psychedelic mushrooms? The experience can vary widely from person to person based on the dose you consume and other factors such as current medications you take. However, overall, you may feel euphoric, connected to the world, and everything and everyone. You may even have profound introspective insights and visual abstract experiences involving fractals, geometric patterns, shapes, and colors that should make sense within the context of your environment. It's important, though, to approach the experience with an open mind, positive energies, and without specific expectations, which leaves us with the social setting. If you are prone to introspection or not, maybe you should reevaluate having this experience alone or with some friends you feel more secure with. If you want to try it alone, it's important to be true to yourself about your overall well-being. 
Are you having a tendency to feel down or insecure most of the time? If you are, then maybe it's better to wait a little longer until you have your first experience with magic mushrooms. This is because, as with any other substance, it may trigger some memories and thought patterns that can lead you to a bad trip. Any substance will invariably highlight what we are avoiding or still processing in our minds. Anything will not simply appear as a magical thing. Everything we experience tends to relate with our subconscious mind, with the part of our brains that hides our inner selves. You shouldn't fear it, but you should be careful before taking a huge dose for the first time because you still don't know how you'll react. And if you are on medications, could it affect your experience with psychedelic mushrooms? Yes, certain medications, especially those affecting serotonin levels or receptors like SSRIs, SNRIs, MAOIs, SARIs, other antidepressants, sedatives, benzodiazepines, antipsychotic medications, and some street drugs, amphetamines, LSD, MDMA, can interact with or dull the effects of psilocybin. It is not recommended to combine psilocybin with any of these drugs, as it may increase the risk of serotonin syndrome, which can be mild to life-threatening. It's crucial to consult your healthcare professional before considering psychedelic mushrooms. If you're on medication, being treated for any condition, or looking to start psilocybin as a treatment regimen. What quantity of psychedelic mushrooms should you start with and how much time do you have to wait to feel something? When it comes to psychedelic mushrooms for beginners, it's recommended to start with a low dose such as 0.5 to 1.5 grams of dried mushrooms for an experience and 0.15 to 0.4 grams for a functional microdose. If you want to know more about microdosing psilocybin, listen to our first episode in this series. The effects can start within 20 to 40 minutes and peak around two to three hours after ingestion. The peak may last for about one or two hours. You can wait at least one hour to gauge your status and see if you want to take more. However, the time can also vary based on individual factors. Some people may not feel anything at all in a low dose, for example. For microdosing, you will barely feel it or will not even feel it at all. If you do, you will basically feel lighter and fully functional to go about your daily life. Even when you don't necessarily feel anything, though, the health and mood balancing effects will still be working on microdoses. Talking about legal considerations. How can I verify if it's legal in my country slash region? The legal status of psychedelic mushrooms varies by country and region. It's crucial to be informed about the laws in your area or where you're traveling to, and to approach with caution and responsibility. You may consult your local city offices to check on local regulations and with state offices to conduct research on specific state guidelines. In this ultimate guide to psychedelic mushrooms for beginners, we are providing you all the information necessary to be aware and knowledgeable about the world of shrooms. And we'd like to invite you to read our article, Psychedelic Mushrooms Legalization, a worldwide view on our site. The link will be in the description of this episode. At Craft Therapy Podcast, we create well-researched information so you can feel relaxed, prepared, and safe for your next experience with psychedelic mushrooms. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider sharing it with a friend or colleague who may like this content. Make sure to also get all the information you need about magic mushrooms by subscribing to our newsletter on our site, theshroomgroove.com. And if you want to know our products, enjoy your $15 reward on your first visit. We would love to meet you at our Shroom Groove stores. Until next time, remember, there's no rush. Every shroom has its story, and each experience is unique. Keep it cool, keep it safe, and most importantly, stay curious. Come and join the Shroom Groove way. Healthy living every day. Mushroom magic pure and bright Shroom Groove brings wealth